I do. I since I'm kind of like pot committed, or it's just like some cost fallacy halfway through as well. I do kind of want to like uh, finish like reading the rest of this as well too. If I'll still give my critique on like um these sort of things too. And a lot of it sounds from like, well, yes, Orange Man bad is the one that I'm not down in that like uh, the Orange Man bad and like the Falcon Party, the fascists are going to be worse and stuff like that. But it's like the Democrats are not much better, and I don't believe them in some of the promises that they're making. Hey. Which again, most liberals are kind of fine like, with like uh, them not living up to their promises. It seems like, again, okay, with like only receiving fourteen hundred dollars instead of two thousand dollars checks. Moving on, um, lowering energy costs. Democrats is sort of, uh, climate change and clean climate and clean agenda. Uh, energy agenda is lowering energy costs for families and small businesses long and term and today with cheaper cleaner energy and with uh, tax credits to make a uh, home energy use uh, more efficient and affordable um, again I still have the issue with the process of like uh, being tax credits well too because like uh, the families have to like put up the money up front first still American clean energy boom is like uh, giving everyone more uh, energy efficient more energy choices than ever and like more choices mean lower prices according to the department of energy our policies are expected to like slash overall electricity rates by like nine eight percent gas prices is by about as much as like 30 percent by 2030 saving americans like tens of billions of dollars do i have a choice of who's provide my electricity no i'm seriously is, is that kind of like there's a competition in that as well too because i'm not aware of that um I guess maybe it's like I do have choices of like which energy company that can provide my electricity as well too, uh, because um, it's it's not the case. I don't remember it being the case for me because it's just Peter Sound Energy that provides the energy for where I live, and I live in an apartment, so maybe I'm limited in my choice of like who provides my energy uh, by living in apartments. That for sure, like it does like limit my options of high speed internet. It's Comcast, and that's it. Because like uh, not the, the other NG uh, internet providers, IRS and so on like that, I have looked into like, fiber. I've looked into like other IPS services as well too, uh, and like they are not provided to like like my apartment as well too. Or it's just like I have to, if I want to pay for uh, my own line to be doing Twitch streaming and not have to like, um, you know, be at risk for like uh, my in, uh, just like losing in that suddenly as well too. I have to like get my own line. That'll be like uh, hundreds of dollars just for myself. Thankfully, the internet has like stabilized enough that like I'm not just like losing the internet like instantly, um, and had to like, just reset the router in order to like get it back. I will sometimes get some buffering, and some hiccups, and something like that, but that's about it. It uh, has to like lose connection or like lose so much internet connection that I'd like uh, end stream early or just like have to uh, stream and get cut off. Anyway, continue on. At the same time, the Inflation Reduction Act is providing uh, tax credits and rebates to make uh, American homes more effective, uh, some more efficient, so American families can start in, uh, in saving on their energy costs now for like the years to come. Families can reduce their bills up to like two thousand dollars a year by like making their homes more energy efficient with new insulation, windows, and doors, as and installing um, rooftop like uh, solar panels. Uh, home batteries and storage and electric uh, pumps for like a uh, heating and cooling. Democrats are only offering like rebates on are also I said only instead of also. Democrats are also offering rebates on like new energy and new energy efficient appliances and like people can save up to like seven thousand uh, seven seven thousand five hundred when they buy a new plug in hybrid or full electric like car or, or four thousand if they like buy used. Administration has like a tough and like it. I still, uh, I still say, as a society, we should like focus on degrowth. Not everyone should uh, uh, should have a car. Maybe if people in rural places, sure, that like have like are far away from like any given other place, and like it's uh, would probably need to drive everywhere for like the places as well too. I I never been a person that lived in a rural place ever. So I don't know what that is like. I don't know if I would like that kind of life either as well, too. Um, and so I will just, like, yeah, accept that as a given that, like, uh, people in rural places will need cars. Because especially since we don't have the infrastructure to, like, have high speed trains in, like, every single barn. Um, but we still want to, like, uh, look at the options for, like, but there just needs to be fucking less cars, period, around the world. 
We should not like be build up like cities, counties, and like uh, infrastructure and that, that sort of thing, and build it around the assumption that everyone's going to have a car. We need to like degrowth and like have like less cars. Period. In order for like the environment to be sustainable, we gotta like and look into like that. Uh, no one is is going to no, know not just the Democrats or thugs. Yeah, thugs are not going to degrowth, but the Democrats won't degrowth either. And I don't know if like any kind of like uh, government agency in any around the world or any head state is going to talk about degrowth at all. But I think this is a conversation we need to have as a society if we do want to actually combat climate change. Anyway, continue on. Uh, the administration is toughening the efficiency standards on new appliances and cars as well as which will further reduce emissions and energy bills. New fuel economy and tailpipe uh, standards alone are expected to save uh, drivers uh, some 6000 per car by reducing fuel and maintenance costs. The administration has also taken the historical action to lower gas prices at the pump. Um, by standing up to big oil product gouging re and releasing strategy re uh, reserves to like blunt a pirate profiteering and like promoting a competition with like clean and cheaper reviewable L. You're still not banning fracking though. So you still will like uh, help like oil companies by like allow them to continue fracking. 